How's it going, Wilder Commenters? My name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome back to another Reading Your Comments video. So first, I want to say that I'm not going to be doing Twitter or Facebook comments. I think I said this in the last one, but reason being is I respond to those usually right away. I respond to most of them anyways. And uh, the YouTube comments, there's just so many now that I can't respond to them, so I can go through them, and I can pick and choose some to respond to on this video. And so I'm sorry to the people that just use Facebook and Twitter. I am terribly sorry, but yeah, you're just going to have to bear with it. So if you want to get on one of these videos, or if you want to have the chance to, you got to comment on one of the videos. Anyways, let's get started. I'm nine and he said, I'm gonna murder children. Haha. <laughs> why? Just why? You know, I would never actually murder you. Unless you did something to piss me off, in which case, <laughs> I might murder you. <laughs> you are awesome. Well, thank you very much, but my name is Eric. I wish my name was awesome though. Dude, where were you when I was searching for good YouTubers? You earned yourself a loyal subscriber. Keep doing what you are doing. Yeah! I got another one. Gotta catch em all. Subscribers. Do do Pikachu. Loving the beard, man. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do with this beard is as soon as I finish Theory of Everything 2 version 2, I'm gonna shave it off. But this is my TOE 2 version 2 beard. I'm gonna keep it for now. <laughs> That's my plan. It's gonna be epic. Starts fapping. I've been waiting. But you don't have tits either, Eric. What are you talking about? I can, I can shake my boobs. I can, ah, ah, it's hard. It is China's cupcake. If you pause it at the right moment, you can see it. <gasps> China has a cupcake in Five Nights at Freddy's 4? I didn't know there was a Chinese animatronic. That's crazy. You just blew my mind. Love you, Eric, and I love your videos. You're the coolest YouTuber. Ah! Ah, Jesus Christ, sorry, I was typing when I got jump scared. Anyway, love you. I love you too, and that's, that's a beautiful comment, I can just imagine. <laughs> Eric, I love you, you're so- <laughs> Oh, there goes my page. <laughs> you look like Jacksepticeye. Let's put us side by side. Okay, how about this? Does this look like Jacksepticeye? Except I have quite a big forehead, don't I? My forehead's a little too big. But it does look cool from the side, doesn't it? It was really hot in the summer, so I shaved my head, and it's growing back. I do look pretty hot. I'm pretty hot. On a hotness scale, I don't look that bad. Except for when you go to the front. Eee! Ooh! Eee! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! That's... okay. Maybe I'll cut that out. <laughs> Dude, shut up and play the game! Because Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is serious business. This is some MLG shit that you should be focusing on. You gotta click on those doors and you gotta prevent yourself from being jump scared. Serious business. That's not Golden Freddy, that is Fredbear. You know what, I think Golden Freddy is Fredbear. I'm pretty sure, like, Golden Fredbear? I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Although I could be mistaken. I think uh, Scott just gave it a new name. Like, Golden Freddy's really called Fredbear, so he's Golden Fredbear. But I... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Eric, you are the best horror gamer that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah! Beat TOE 2 version 2 before 2.0. That is the plan. I'm gonna try to. But no promises. I mean, I can only do as, as much as I can. And then if I can't do it because I suck, then I can't do it. But I'm gonna try. I'll try. Last time I checked, you had 43k subs, but now you have 71k. Now we need to beat the 100k milestone. Getting to 100k soon would be insane, because last summer at this point in August, I wasn't- we weren't- I'm gonna say we, because we made this channel together. We weren't even at 10k subs, alright? We hit 10k subs last September, and if we hit 100k like before Christmas, that'll be like a year and a bit from going from 10,000 to 100,000. It's insane! Oh my god! I can't even imagine that. It's... <laughs> I'm just so happy the way the channel's been going recently, so thank you guys so much. Wouldn't you make challenges on the next Geometry Trash level online, of course, like every time you die? The problem with challenges is I'm doing harder levels now, which take more attempts to do. And so challenges are a little bit out of the picture because, you know, oftentimes... When I was doing challenges, I could practice a level and then I'd attempt like maybe 30 to 40 times on normal mode and I could do it. But now, like, I find that with these demons, I'm hopping back and forth between practice and normal mode. Like, oh, I keep on dying on that part, going to practice, going to normal, and I'm jumping back and forth between them, which you guys don't see in the video because I 
am jumping back and forth between practice and normal, and I don't want to show that those parts of the video. Sometimes I do show a little bit of my practice, but doing a challenge with that it would be a little distracting and it'd be a little weird, right, with the harder levels. Maybe I'll do some easier levels, like some insane rated levels or something, and I'll do some challenges if you guys want. Um, something I've been thinking about, but we'll see. Right now, the challenges are off until I finish Theory of Everything 2 version 2, because I'm not going to be doing challenge for that video, because that is like the hardest demon I've ever done, so... How did you get so dang good at this? I actually don't consider myself like amazing at Geometry Ash, right? Like I'm pretty good, I can hold my own, but I'm not up there with uh, the, the top players, right? Because uh, I'm above the Rob Top Demons, the Rob Top levels are all pretty easy. Um, and then the demons get ranked in difficulty, like there's like easy, medium, hard, uh, insane, extreme demons and stuff like that. D the rating system is different depending on what YouTuber is playing them. But I usually end up playing around like the medium demon range with those. Like Jawbreaker people consider a medium demon to me was like one of the hardest I've done so far. But I am working my way up there. Theory of Everything 2 version 2 will be like my first insane demon because that... That is it. It's, it's an insane demon. Maybe it's just a hard demon. Maybe some people would consider it a hard demon, but for me, that's like, it's insane. And so, yeah, that'll be like the hardest one I've done. But I'm not, I'm not in the top, right? Maybe, maybe one day I will, but I need to have a lot of practice. There, there's a lot of dedication that people put into the game um, that I haven't put in myself yet. Like I've, I've practiced quite a lot, but not as much as some other people, right? And that's just the way it is. Um, I could practice if I wanted to, and uh, I think I should, right? Because I, I look at those hard levels and I'm like, that looks so amazing, I want to do that! But, you know, I gotta put in the time, right? I gotta put in the time. Eric, don't kill your beard again, please. I'll kill you, beard! No! Stop it, Eric! Don't you... I'm gonna friggin' murder you! Ah, ha, ha. Ah, Eric, no! I don't want to go down the drain again, please! Ah! Hey Eric, why don't you play the 999 game? That could be a hell of an experience if you haven't played it yet. Actually, I'm gonna address this right now is I love the 999 games and Virtue's Last Reward, uh, the sequel to it. And the sequel just got announced to that, which is awesome. And I might play that on the channel at some point when it does come out. I don't know when it's gonna come out. But uh, I have played 999, I played Virtue's Last Reward. And so if I played it, it wouldn't be like surprising to me, you know, because there's a lot of cool like plot twists and stuff, and they're amazing games. If you haven't played them, you should play them. But, you know, like, it would happen, I'd be like, oh yeah, I knew that was coming. So I, I can't play it, right? Because I would need my first reactions on there. But when the sequel does come out, I think I'm gonna play it on the channel, because I am really looking forward to that so much. To all GD fans, this is not a GD channel. Let him play what he wants, FNAF, Honeypop, Agario, and more. That's very annoying. So I'm gonna address this right now is I love GD and I will be playing GD. Um, it, it's something that I feel like I've improved on and I like practicing and improving on it and showing my skills in it because I love rhythm-based games like that. But it is not a GD channel exclusively, right? Like I promise like one or two GD videos a week and uh, I do a lot of other stuff, so you know, it is kind of annoying. I don't mind Geometry Dash comments on the other videos. Like, if you just say, like, Hey, Eric, I heard about this cool level. Maybe you should try it. That's okay. But what really irks me is when people will go on to non-Geometry Dash videos and they'll say, Hey, Eric, man, where's more Geometry Dash? Hurry up and play more Geometry Dash. That pisses me off because I will play more Geometry Dash. It's coming and I will do it because I like the game. Just wait. It's the videos are coming. It's just not all the videos are going to be about Geometry Dash because I, this channel isn't all about Geometry Dash. I, I am a very varied gamer and I like playing various different things. So please stop telling me to do things like you should do this, you should do that. If you want to recommend games to me, it's great. Like something I don't know. Like, hey, Eric, you should try this out. It's, it's a cool game. That's fine. But just like, hey, you, you get over here and you play Geometry Dash, bitch. You sit down. Put on that headset and you play. You're my bitch. That's not okay. And that was a little bit of a dramatization of it. Dramatization? Dramatization. Yeah, that's that's the word. But you get the picture. <laughs> wow, Eric, your e-penis is so big. Boing! <laughs> Imagine dealing with this shit for an actual six hours. That's a very valid point. Like, when we play Five Nights at Freddy's games, the six hours goes by in like ten minutes. But um, if we had to sit there for an actual six hours, imagine how fucking nerve-wracking that would be. That would be insane. That's a very valid point. Holy crap.
Eric, would you rather lose your channel or never eat cake and cookies? To tell you the truth, I don't really eat much cake and cookies anyways. Like, I'll have... I think in the past month I've had like two cookies. Maybe. That's like probably in the past two months I've had two cookies. So yeah, I'd, I'd uh, rather... And again, those two cookies were pretty good. No, I, I would never lose my channel. Don't trick me like that. Hey VW, are you still a teacher? If you are, are you a sub or something? Well, actually, I was a teacher and I was a teacher in Korea doing ESL, which is English as a second language. It's a little bit different because your primary focus is second language teaching, which is uh, just a different style you gotta teach. And uh, yeah, there is some crossover though with like curriculum teaching, uh, uh, stuff that teachers do here, um, but it is quite different. And I will be going back and doing that. I will be teaching again next year, but for now, I'm just on break. I'm living in Canada with my girlfriend and my family. Well, I'm not living with my family, living near my family in an apartment. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of taking it easy until I go back there, probably in November. Well, you know what? I guess it's time to end the episode here. I couldn't find any really disgusting comments to end it on. That's it's crazy. Like, I don't know what is the last episode two I did of this. I couldn't find any crazy comment to end it on. They've all been like fairly normal. It's just crazy. It's blowing my mind. I got to play more Honey Pop or Sakura Fantasy or something like that. I got to start a new series like that soon or else I'm never going to be able to find one. So <laughs> sit tight and wait till then. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, remember to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video. As always, guys. Peace.